This is a 3 versus 3 31k battle. It's uh, three members of the uh, Brotherhood clan against uh, me. And uh, my allies are um, IOW Ezrax, who's playing as the Julii. His entire army are made up of Praetorians. All his infantry are Praetorian, and all his cavalry, six Praetorian cavalry. My other ally is Sparky of the Titans clan. He has six units of Cretan archers. And all of his infantry are heroes of Sparta. My army back here is uh, Seleucid. I have six units of Seleucid cataphracts. And I have, I think, ten units of Silver Shield pikemen. And four units of Silver Shield legionaries. So not very much variety of the units. Uh, Sparky and Ezrax have only two different kinds of units and I have three. So it's uh, pretty much just uh, elite units in this battle. This battle was fought uh, almost two months ago. I haven't played, I think, I haven't played really since then. I've been trying to focus on uh, finishing my mod when I get time and uh, the playing of these games was distracting me from uh, modding so I had to kind of take a break from playing this is the army of Spartan commander he's playing as the Scipii his entire army are made up of uh, Praetorians also he's got Praetorian infantry and five units of Praetorian cavalry so the same army that uh, Ezrax has, except he has one less cav unit, which means he probably has one more infantry unit, or maybe just better upgrades. This is the army of Legion 22. He's playing as Macedon. Uh, he's got five units of Cretan archers, and he brought two units of... Um, these are the General's Armored Bodyguard. He's got two of those. And all his infantry are Royal Pikes. Except he has two uh, Meat Shield units. He's got two uh, Levy Pikemen. Which uh, are pretty weak. They don't have any armor and have only small shields but they're just for absorbing missiles and the third member of the Brotherhood clan is Gladius playing as the Brutii he's got four units of Roman archers all his infantry are Praetorian cohorts and then he has five units of Praetorian cavalry so the armies are pretty even pretty balanced uh, we both, each army has uh, 12 units of archers, and uh, we've got about the same amount of cav too. I think we each have, uh, I think they've got two more cav units, but ours are probably a little bit better quality. So this is the this is, was the eighth battle that I played uh, that was hosted by the Brotherhood Clan. The first six I posted on my channel, and the seventh one I didn't post because uh, it was a, a battle where we formed, uh, my side formed a giant noob box. We all took pipe fa pike factions, and uh, the opposing team uh, took all Romans, and they slaughtered us. 
but uh, I knew Spartan Commander would post that and he would do a much better job of commentary on that so uh, I didn't bother posting that one so this is my eighth battle with uh, the Brotherhood clan so right at the start my uh, allies Sparky and Ezrak started freaking out when they saw my formation I guess they thought that I was gonna really fight with all my pikemen in a big clump like that but uh, one of them messaged uh, the other one uh, look at his formation what's he doing which was uh, kinda of funny I wasn't really communicating with my allies in this battle they were uh, strategizing a lot between each other I think they know each other pretty well but uh, I don't think I messaged uh, either one of them a single time and uh, they they only messaged me uh, one time so it was not really a unified effort on our side. Right here, this is uh, Legion 22 using his uh, General's Armored Bodyguards to distract and draw missile fire. Usually in the 31k battles I've played, I end up charging in the battle first on my team, and I usually lose my cav right at the beginning. So uh, this time I was determined uh, to not do that. I wanted to hang back more and let my allies take the lead. I usually end up with no army left at the end of these battles. I think I had one battle um, against the Brotherhood clan where I, I ended up with the most kills on my team, but um, I had pretty much no army left, and my two allies, which I think were Sparky and Kim Jong Lee, uh, had like full armies left at the end of the battle. So even though I had the most kills, uh, my army was destroyed in the process. So. This time I wanted to try and see if I could finish a game with an intact army and also see if I could uh, avoid throwing my cab away right at the beginning. So I was very cautious in letting these guys uh, do what they do since they seemed uh, to know each other pretty well. Right now it's just skirmishing. Both sides have Cretan archers. Which have a very long range. And here comes another uh, charge by uh, Legion 22 to draw a missile fire. and gain an advantage in the uh, missile war. So Ezrax chased him a little bit and then gave up because these uh, generals armored bodyguards are a lot faster. So he actually goes in for a charge there. But uh, it's a mistake. And he loses one of his cav units without killing very many archers. It was at this point in the battle that I received uh, the only communication from my teammates. Uh, one of them, I don't know, I don't remember which one it was, put that um, that big giant arrow that you can send a message to your teammates which says uh, move to the position shown I think so uh, I went ahead and did that and I moved to the spot where they wanted me to be but I still was not going to be uh, aggressive and attack first I was gonna let them 
is going to let them handle that. And now Legion 22 is going to test to see if I have uh, my Pila turned on for my uh, Silver Shield Legionnaires. And I'm not that big of a noob, so I didn't fall for it. And my Silver Shields were able to catch that cab unit, and he lost his second of his uh, distraction cab. Though I think they're going to come back from routing. So yeah, I don't think Sparky totally trusted me. He put uh he put Spartans in front of my army over here uh to make sure I didn't fuck up the battle for our side, I guess. And he's got some Spartans over here to support the Romans on this side. I'm losing a lot of units to uh, Archer Fire. This Pike unit here, uh, which had 120 men in it, is down to 98 only. A few of my units are cut down a little bit. So now I'm moving up my uh, Cataphracts. I've shown the cataphracts in previous videos, but uh, I added a cloak to the cataphract rider since uh, the last video where I featured uh, Seleucid units. But uh, basically I'm, I'm pushing my cav out to the side here and uh, I'm sending a, a unit of silver shield pikemen with them. I was uh, trying to be uh, very careful not to get into a cab fight early and then lose all my cab. My original intention was to wrap my battle line all around, all the way around this flank here, but uh, they didn't seem, my allies didn't seem to want me to do that. So the skirmishing uh, continues. Uh, here comes that uh, general's bodyguard again. And that unit was really bothering uh, Ezrax. He kept uh, trying to chase it down, which I didn't really understand why waste uh, the energy. That cab unit didn't seem to be very effective. I thought it probably was uh, more of a waste of money for uh, the other side than uh, the amount of harm it was doing to our side. See if I can get a shot of the Silver Shield Legionaries. Backed up by Spartans. So I finally uh, smartened up and put my uh, infantry into loose formation since there was no fighting going on yet. As I lost a lot of uh, unit, a lot of, a lot of pikemen. Not a whole unit, but a lot of uh, men from each uh, pike unit. They seem to be focusing their arrow fire on me, uh, probably thinking I was the weak spot, and if they take my army out, 
that could give them a 3-2 to two advantage. I also had the weakest uh, infantry in the game. These Praetorians and Spartans are much tougher than uh, the Silver Shield. So here's some movement. Ezrax uh, moving forward. Now Sp Sparky moving his army forward and Ezrax moving forward again. Pila being thrown back and forth. So Ezrax pushing back Gladius's battle line. Gradually, slowly, I'm trying to wrap around this flank with my cav. My six cataphracts and the one silver shield pike unit. So here Sparky sends forward one Spartan unit at the levee pikes and then uh, withdraws, but at the same time Ezrax moves forward. So I wasn't sure exactly what they were trying to do. Maybe they were trying to get Legion 22 to go all the way into the Spartans and then flank with these Romans, but then that would have left our flank open for Gladius to attack. So. Right there, Sparky pulls back all the Spartans, so I'm not sure what they're doing. I was just watching. One of the Levy Pikes routes. And now the fight begins. Spartans versus Macedonians and Romans versus Romans. The Spartan hoplites are much tougher than the Royal Pikemen. So the Royal Pikemen really need support. Uh, the Spartan player um, Sparky took some archers but he didn't take any cab so uh, his units uh, not only do they have better stats already than the royal pikemen but uh, they probably had better upgrades too as legion 22 uh, spent money on a couple of uh, generals armors armored bodyguards so once spartan commanders started sending units to help his ally, that's when I decided to move forward.
and I'm getting ready to attack with Cav over here. Our ally has been slain. Now we will see if his men Spartan can hold General in the face died. of this calamity. My infantry is kind of in a V shape attacking these uh, Praetorians on both sides with pikes. And I'm waiting for my chance to uh, do my uh, calf charge. Still have an attack, still being very cautious. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. So now I'm finally attacking with my cav. Against Spartan commanders, Praetorians. There's a Macedonian banner in there, I'm not sure what that unit is. It was a Cretan archer. We're both having uh, infantry involved in this fight, but um... Esrax's cavalry coming from the other side uh, ends the cab fight there the gods be the and ends the battle. You can His see that uh, the Brutii are all routed. Oh, there's still some over here. And there they start to uh, admit defeat. The enemy general is killed! Fear makes a home in our enemy's hearts! So I was very happy that I had a lot of infantry left and cavalry, like almost my whole army is uh, still alive. Out of uh, 1,800 plus men I had 12,000, 1,200 left. But then you look at my kills and you know I had almost no kills, only 789, whereas Sparky had over 2,000. So um this was the uh, I played nine battles with the they were hosted by the BH clan and this was the eighth one so I still have one more that I can uh, make a video but um yeah I haven't played in uh, what seven weeks this was about seven weeks ago as I'm trying as fast as I can to uh, finish King Almighty mod uh, so I can be done with it so good game to everybody that was involved it was a interesting game uh, for me not as fun as some of the other ones were because I didn't get into the fight right away but um, still I enjoyed it <laughs>